guys, so I'm going to be completing the Get to Know Yourself tag. Um, I actually don't know who made this one. I found this under somebody's um, comment section, kind of in the description section. So I'll be doing this one. So the first question, guys, is what is your name? Uh, my name is Erin, which most of you guys hopefully know if you've seen more of my videos. But what people don't know is I actually have a lot of nicknames. Um, my first nickname is Rinny. Um, I actually also go by my last name, which I will not be saying quite yet. Um, and I also go by Ern, E-R-N. Oh, Rinny is R-I-N-Y. So I've gotten those over the years from different like groups or stuff that I've done. So, um, yeah. The next question is, how did you start making videos? So I started making videos with my friend. We both really love fashion. And we started out on a different site. We had some complications, and our schedules itself did not mix together, so we weren't really able to film together. And at first, we had a couple that we had filmed um, when it was the two of us, but it ended up being just me who wanted to keep it alive and use my schedule to do it by myself. She didn't even do hers by herself. I still love her for it, but it just didn't seem to really work out for us. Um, so I went and, due to the complications with the actual site itself, um, I went and made my own account. Because um, I've always loved beauty, and I've always thought, kind of, I want to share my love with other people. Even though I haven't had the chance to indulge in makeup yet, and I'm kind of getting to the point where I really, really want to. Um, it's always been more fashion for me, and styling things, and I've always loved doing that. Um, it's always been a, conf conf a confidence booster for me. Some people say that they want their own natural, is like how girls should be appreciated. And I agree with that completely. But for me, it's not like I feel like I need, I need to more makeup to be pretty. But I just have so much fun putting it on. And I just feel so great wearing it. Not that like I feel like I can I cannot go out without makeup on. Like I, I can and I do. But I just, I don't know. I get more joy after putting makeup on. And people, it's it's an art. Like having people see like this is what I was able to create, create guys. Like I came up with this outfit by myself. Like I came up with this makeup. With this, with this like eyeshadow. So um. That's kind of why I started and how I started. So, I get from my parents first, guys. And that was the biggest challenge for me. Alright, the next question is, what are your interests outside of beauty? So, um, I actually have a lot of interests outside of beauty. I love art. I love painting um, a lot. I don't like painting realistic things, though. I do love abstract work. Um, I also love to read. Um, I play tennis. I used to swim. And I sort of still, still do. Um... I horseback ride when I can. Um, let's see. I'm part of my school's drama program. So, like, I recently was Babette in Beauty and the Beast. And I'm recently the role of Ginny in Splendor in the Grass. Um, both roles are the same sort of role. But far from what I actually, my personality is. But um, they're definitely a lot of fun to play. Um, I haven't started playing Ginny yet. We're just getting to the uh, read-through this week. Um, I do musicals with like that. I play clarinet and saxophone, and in general, I love being outside. I love taking pictures of scenery and just like the world around me. All right, the next question, question number four, is how did you get your YouTube name or how did you come up with it? Um, so I actually this is really cheesy, guys, but I went online and trying to find ways or find out like um, I'm trying to think um, tips on coming up with a YouTube name because I was literally drawing a blank. I had no idea what to come up, what to do. And I was saying, okay, keep it sweet and short, make sure it draws people in. And actually it was like, all right, well the word princess seems to come up a lot. People seem to click on that. Like, um, there aren't that many of them actually with the whole princess in the name, but they're somewhere in there, something like it. And I've always thought of, when I think of beauty and clothing, I think of princesses, I think of like rich people. And of course, like, I don't know who doesn't, but I always personally thought that you didn't have to be rich or have money or be famous in order to, like, look your best. You don't need to be wearing designer brands to get the same outfit. There's always dupes, guys. Like, I mean, seriously. Hey, you go to magazines, it's always, how to get this look for less? Like, don't spend $1,000 on a shirt. Um, that's what I'm always about, finding deals and not spending a ton. <coughs> I hardly ever shop at, like, Abercrombie or Apostle, like, Urban Outfitters. I shop at, like, West Seal, Forever 21, Love Culture, Kohl's. Like, I shop places, like, make good deals at. Um, and I love them a lot. Also, I love the whole bohemian uh, style, boho, boho chic. 
and I only recently kind of figured out that's kind of what I was. My friend kind of pointed it out to me, and um, so that's how I kind of got that, the boho princess. So the next one, guys, and this was really, really short, so it's, it's easy to do. Well, who is your favorite fashion guru on um, YouTube? And, or beauty guru? Uh, mine is MacBarbio7. I actually started out watching um, JC Loves Mac, and um, he kind of got me started watching a lot of stuff. But then I found my Barbie 7 I kind of got inspired because she's my age, um, and she's able to start. She started four years ago, so I was thinking to myself, all right, in four years, I could be as good as she is. And even when I'm making videos now, I'm looking and thinking, all right, these are not that good. Um, <laughs> I look back at some of her old ones, and I'm like, she's gone so far since then. And she's always been really, really good, but um, she's definitely progressed a lot, and she's gotten better with editing and other things, so I was like... I, you know what, I can do this. This is definitely a confidence booster for me, and I love her style, too. So it's definitely um, great for inspiration. The next one is your favorite designer brand. And as I said beforehand, I don't usually shop designer brands. I've gotten one standard G bars for my, for, my, sorry, for my mom for my birthday one year, but I don't usually shop designer brands. Um, so, but I can tell you now the brand I would love to wear um, if I had the money for it. <coughs> Sorry. I am sick, guys, so it's kind of, I will be coughing. My voice is kind of gone. But I would love to wear more Chanel stuff. I don't know if my friends would like coach bags. Um, but, I don't know. I love Chanel. And I still have dresses on, like, the people coming out of Project Runaway. Um, I don't know. I think I've always wanted to get some of those stuff, and I think I will eventually. But for now, no. Um, but, yeah. That's fine for me. The next one is your favorite, is your favorite beauty pro product at the moment. Uh, mine are actually, uh, I have a duo, and I got these recently. Well, not that recently, like last month. Um, there's two Essie Nail Polishes. This one is a greenish minty color. It's in turquoise and Caicos. But it looks more greeny than turquoise. I don't know. And this other one is one of the Lux Effects ones. And it's in... A cut above. So it's like glittery pink one. And I and I'm actually wearing both of them right now. I absolutely love them. They are absolutely adorable. Great for the spring as well. So um I'm definitely excited to be wearing them right now. And they don't ship like easily either. So that's really, really nice. So question number nine. We only have two more guys, this one and the next one. Um so, uh, number nine is your favorite perfume right now. And mine will, okay, I'm kind of between two, but this is the one I'm going to save for right now, because definitely the one I'm wearing the most. And this is my Charmed by, Unforget by Unforgettable Moments Eau de Toilette I got from Payless. It smells so good. It smells all fancy, like a French perfume. But guys, so this is usually $20 perfume, so it's not that expensive. It's from Payless, because it's kind of like a common smell, I guess. But, um, it was on sale at $5, and then I got a buy one, get one. Uh, it was like the buy one get one half off a bogo yeah just might as well use that term so I got a pair of earrings as well one of my um, pearl studs and that was more expensive than the five dollars for this so I got this for 250 guys it was absolutely great and I absolutely love this the other one I really like is I went to France this summer guys as a student ambassador program which is by um, application well, not application by recommendation only so I was accepted for this guys and I got to go and it was a great honor for me to go but um, when we were in France, there was a chance as a group to get like a set for cheaper. So we got, I got the mini, like, like smaller than this, guys. It was like, actually, no, about this size, actually. But it's like skinny. Made out of aluminum tin, guys, so I can't drop and have a break. <coughs> but it's my Miranda perfume. Um, hang on. So this is it, guys. Um, this is from Miranda. This is, sorry, this is from Flag on Out. It is a Miranda perfume. Um, the 2012 smell was, um, lilacs. So we went in, it was lilacs everywhere. It smells so pretty, but because it was so expensive, I'm saving these special occasions. This will last me forever and ever. So, Charm is definitely my favorite one for right now. Alright, so last question is, again, really, really simple. It is, what are you wearing and where did you get it from? So, my sweater. I'm wearing this sweater, which is, it's like tribal print sleeves, or all over. It is, um, from Forever 21. My tank top underneath, actually, I have no idea where I got this one from. I actually have no idea. It's just a black tank top, guys. It's cropped, but it was enough to go underneath this to keep me warm. 
Um, my belt came with a pair of like, oh my god, my voice just cracked so badly. It came from, um, let me think. Can you repair capris? I don't really wear anymore. They're like khaki capris. But I have to bring more in the summer because it's definitely coming back. The next thing I'm wearing, I'm going to my jeans up. Whoop. These are my jeans from um, Express. They're stretchy jeans. I did not pay full price for these guys. I paid like $14 for them. I got them at this like warehouse place. So, um, definitely really excited, guys, um, to be making more videos. And that's it for the Get to Know Me tag. Hope you guys know me better. I will probably do a more general one, less around beauty, but more about me, personally. Um, so, like, favorite color, like, favorite animal, etc., etc. So, you really get to know me as a person, because I think the best way for this, for my channel to kind of grow, is for you guys to really be able to connect with everything I'm doing, and, um, yeah. Just know, guys, I do buy everything with my own money, or with, like, birthday or Christmas money. I do not get a lot of it, trust me, I do not get a lot of Christmas money or birthday money. Um, my whole family is from Europe, so, um, I get, I don't see them that often, so they see just me money because I don't really know what I like anymore, um, so I get to go shopping with that, I don't get an allowance, so I have to work for my job, I work to get money, um, and over the summer I will be buying a new camera with hopefully the money I will be earning this summer, um, so, I'm looking forward to all of this guys, and hopefully when I get the camera I can record videos outside with a tripod, and everything's going to go a lot better. I'll be making a lot more outfits videos in the summer. And definitely, I'm really excited because I will be making a whole plan for a back-to-school outfit thing with a haul. So, all pumped up, guys. Um, so, hope you guys subscribe and keep watching the rest of my videos. They'll be coming out over time. Um, so, yeah. Make sure you subscribe. Follow me on Twitter. The If you go back to my channel, guys, or if you're already on my channel, up above... Um, right on, in the boxes up top in my banner, there are links. The Google Plus one is not active, guys, because I don't use Google Plus. It's for losers. I'm sorry, Google Plus is so stupid. It's an attempt at Facebook. Do Google Plus, you're trying hard. Make it better, and maybe. But for now, I don't usually use my Google Plus, guys. So there's no point in me linking it up. And I don't know if the subscribe button up there will work, so just use the normal one for now, or test that out and see if it works, and tell me if it does, because I don't know yet. I tried linking it, and I don't know if it worked or not, so tell me what happens. Um, but Twitter, Facebook, and Instagram all work, along with the Tumblr, so definitely follow me on all of those. I don't use Tumblr as much, guys, but I usually, I definitely use my Instagram as much as possible. And my Facebook, I'm getting the hang of using the page, and same with Twitter. Uh, so you guys have any tips for me to help get better, and that'd be great. So if you like this, definitely click like below. Leave a comment if you think I sucked, or if I rocked, or if I need help. Please comment. I want to know. But, um, yeah. I'm really looking forward to making more videos for you guys. As I said, like, 40 billion times beforehand, but I am. So, bye, guys. <laughs>